Hi, this is Darren Edwards. Today I'm at Barcelona Sands train station. I'm taking the train over to our house in the south of France. I usually drive, but Hub is away in London. I'm such a girl, I don't like driving on my own. I have this fear of having an accident and somebody shouting at me in French or Spanish and not knowing what to do. I think I'd just sit there and cry. So I'm taking the train. I'm going into the train station and I have to go through security because I'm going to another country. So I will see you on the train. I'm not afraid to watch you go. Well, I'm on the train and it's a three hour journey. Unfortunately, I'm sitting in the quiet zone from the man to the wall. It's lovely to go through the Pyrenees. Unfortunately, I'm sitting backwards, so I don't know what we'll get, but I'll try and take some pictures. Welcome to Sassanon, a little rural village in the Languedoc area in the south of France. The clock tower behind me dates back to the 15th century, but the village is older than that. In Longdoc produces a huge amount of wine and it's all agriculture. I'm going to take you for a walk up the mountains and show you the village. You go. And I'm not afraid to watch you leave. Da, 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 da. I'm quite sweaty and the sun's coming out, but every time I'm in Sassanon I try and come up here because it's so peaceful and the views are amazing. This is the River Orb in Sassanon. On the left hand side you can see the beach and in the summer that's where everybody sunbathes on. And in the right is the cliffs that all the young punks jump up into the water. Uh, I'm in Betty is about to take the train back to Barcelona. This is the closest city to where I live. It's one of the oldest cities in France. It's 575 BC and then it was taken over by the Catholics. And they built these ginormous dominating cathedrals that looked all the way over the land. Anyway, I'm going to go and get my train and I have to change to Narbonne, so I'm going to have a quick look around Narbonne as well. I'm in Narbonne and I have an hour to kill, so I've come to have a look at the cathedral. I'm not particularly religious, but these are huge and this one towers so high. You can see it for a hundred miles. I'll take you on a quick tour of the outside. There's not an awful lot to do in Narbonne. The main city is Montpellier, but that's an hour west by train. But it has, it's a big city, it's a student city, it's got a big huge gay life. All right, I'm gonna take you on a tour of this cathedral. and pack for my next trip tomorrow okay if you like this video then please subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow